Okay, so I'm going to do the final one of the u vast equations, and this is to prove or show that v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. And this one is easier to start than the rest, because it's sort of a bit obvious if we just look here. So we're going to start where u vast v is equal to u plus at. Okay, so we can look at this. This is what we want to prove or show. So we're going to first, we're going to want to square the v, because that's it. So if we square one side, we have to square them both. So it's easy to square this side, it's only the V, but this one will have to square everything. Okay, so I've just squared both sides. Now, there's a quick way to do that, but I'm going to do it the long way, just so we don't get confused. Everyone's following. So what's squared? Well, that just means everything multiplied by itself, doesn't it? Okay, so that's just what squared is, is you're multiplying it by itself. Now we have two brackets, so we have to multiply everything in the two brackets by themselves. So let's do it. So we've got our v squared is equal to you know, u multiplied by u is just u squared. u multiplied by at is just plus u at. Okay, so that one's that done. Now the next one we have at multiplied by u. Well, that's the same as the last one, so it's just plus u at. And then at multiplied by at is at squared, or a squared t squared. Okay, so that's just it multiplied out. Now we can see that these are both the same, so we can add them together and make it a little bit neater. So we're going to have u squared plus 2u a t plus a squared t squared. Okay, that's okay. Now, what we want from this. So we look at this and we're like, okay, we've already got the first one. And we've got the second one, and look, you're going to know that we need an S in here, don't we? We're going to have to have an S in here. So is there a way to do it? Well, there is. And if we can look at this, we're going to put down our V squared, doesn't change, and our U squared. But this one, so what we're going to pull out of here, you can see what's common. Okay, well they both have an A, they both have a T. But look at this, so we want a 2a out here, so we definitely want a 2a. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to pull a 2a out of here. Now there isn't one in this, but it all makes sense when we try. So we're going to plus and we'll pull a 2a out of that. Okay, so what are we left with? Well, we've pulled the a out and we've pulled the 2 out, so we're just left with ut. Now, in this one, well, we've pulled an a out. So we're only going to have an a there. We haven't touched the t squared. But we've also pulled a 2 out. Now there wasn't one there, but if we want to get rid of that, then we just have to put a half there. Okay, so we can see how that would work. Because if we multiplied this 2 back in, well, that would be 2 over 2. And they would just cancel away, and then the a would be squared. So this is the same thing. Okay, so you might have to check over that yourself if you find that a little bit confusing. But you can see here, if I multiplied 2a back into this, well, that would be a 2 over 2, and they would cancel to be 1, and the a would be in there, so it would be at squared. Now, this should look familiar. So, if you remember the other uvas equation, s is equal to ut plus a half at squared. That, of course, is in your log tables. You don't need to remember this. And you can see that this is s and that's exactly what we were looking for so if we know that that's that and we just have to say that inside this bracket is equal to s and we're done so we've got our v squared is equal to u squared plus 2a and everything in this bracket we've just shown is s so v squared is equal to u squared plus 2a s easy peasy